okay guys welcome back to the youtube channel so basically in this video we are to assemble each and every part of this i'll be using mate method but before i do that i want to address a mistake i made um in this diagram that was during the extrusion so if i come to the right here you can see this l portion here right it's not meant to be down here it's meant to be above here because this line and this line are meant to be like leveled up so quickly we didn't destroy too much we'll be coming to sketch and um, extrude right we touch on the extrude that's to tell us we extruded that part that's on the part we want to adjust this part yeah you can see it's a lighting where we want to adjust so we are doing it for both up and down so on my own diagram i think i'm editing extrusion 3 and extrusion 4 so let's also go to extrusion 3 i touch it here like i write i left click here then i edit extrusion or edit extrude so clicking on that it takes me back to okay what do you want to do um i'd love to extrude from the right to make sure i'm right this time around so um both sides are not equal right so we are not using symmetric we're using asymmetric yeah so asymmetric okay at the top i want four so four 22 minus four is 18 which makes it 22 in total and i click here 18. can you see now it's leveled okay correction one made then i come to extrusion three and i click on edit extrusion and i click again asymmetry and i want to make this down part distance a i want to make it four and my distance b i want to make it 18. yeah that was quite fast and come back to home exactly oh something's wrong oh it's closed the circles let me see did it close it on there also okay it didn't close on that but it closed the circle at the top so all i'm just going to do is i'll look for the circle that appears through yeah extrusion 4 edit extrusion 4 which is both circles and you know it was meant to cut through or oh, circle i used in cutting is drawn here it's like i offset to draw like this so i think the best thing to do since true or wouldn't work is to do symmetry yeah symmetry or asymmetry but symmetry is just gonna you know cut it all through everywhere and we click on okay yeah so let's see do we have total o open here yeah. so yeah thank you for taking your corrections alongside with me and next in line while I tried assembling, this guy was too black. So I'm going to move from semi-polished for each of my image to silver. Because it was so dark, I could not see this center. Oh. So on this guy also, I want to leave semi-polish to silver. I can actually see what I'm extruding, but I just want to make it visible for people who will be watching to follow steps so you don't get lost. So I have to just increase brightness by changing the color to a bright color of or for each of my components semi-polish no i want it to be silver come here also semi-polished i want it to be silver so you can do the same thing if you did that with me so i also the other mistake i made is extrusion here also i think we look for what part it is here this guy we touch on him then edit extrusion and adjust this to 36 click ok then save it as well yeah save come back to each of my work ctrl s saved ctrl s you can see it's telling me saving Ctrl S, saved, Ctrl S, save, that's just to update my folder, that yes, I already make um, adjustments in few stuff, so I come back to assembly. So the next thing I would be doing is coming to file, um, new assembly by standard MMIM. Yeah, come to assembly, standard MMI, i.am, create. Then, yeah, I come to place. Make sure you save every other thing you adjusted in your last diagram. So I remember we adjusted two things. So I'll be highlighting them by either you hold your control and touch in the middle or you keep touching this center, this center, 
toggle on or you just tick those boxes open so sorry click on home and drop this by left clicking the right click to press ok you are doing it just once so i want to be moving all of these guys away from each other so you'll be able to see each and everything being done so this is the last guy i'm moving and i touch on this guy right click and grounded that's because i don't want him moving around anytime anymore so i come to constraints bow to assemble all of these things you come to constrain um you use this for surface then you use number two for axis we'll be using both but let's start by using um surface at first so i click on surface and the first place i want to touch is this surface it's like i want to magnet i'm telling it i want to join this surface right you can see it's made it blue to the under part of this guy sorry zoom out yeah so this part please make sure yeah you heard this sound i think we just did so what's happening yeah it just did but the issue is it would not make it as perfect as you want it to sorry um as you can see oh apply okay cancel as you can see it would not go up or down it will only move on that axis right so i'll leave it out here go back to the top again now i'll be using the circles the circles right so i come back to constraint now zoom in zoom in i want this circle to align with this circle so if we look at it from the top again i think now it's not moving anywhere it's just you know rotating left and right sorry let me okay i can't zoom in the best okay let me just do this yes yeah, so as you can see it's not going back and forth anymore it's just moving around the axis just straight axis that's all so the next thing we want to do is this guy we'll be assembling this guy and we do that by clicking on constraint again now i think we should be using axis so i touch on this guy's axis against this pose axis so as you can see again it's not dipping in right okay apply and if you see this guy all you can just do is go up and down you can't go left or right just up and down in that axis so bringing it down and um, all i want to do is come back to constrain this time around i'll be using surface right so i want this surface sorry let me zoom in i want this surface to come with um this surface carry home upside down Oh, that's too much yeah i want it to go on with this surface let me zoom in yeah with this surface so i press home as you can see it's locked in already so you can just this rotate it left or right oh, sorry okay or you can just this rotate it left or right but i don't know if you've seen the rotation at all but that's all we can do for now let me move this closer so to see if i can zoom in on zoom in on selected no. Zoom in all zoom in window. Okay, I know I want it to be zoom out. Yeah, so next is this guy. I think we'll be using axis again. Sorry, can I see from the right hand side? So we'll bring this guy down, bring this guy down. They are close to the portion at which I want to assemble. So click on home again. I want to use axis, come to constraint. Um axis, I guess. 
so i want these guys exist no okay i want these guys exist not just the center of it so it exists against sorry i think i have to rotate upwards against these guys exist sorry okay so let's see the flaws we have there zoom in I think the flaw would be is not going to touch up, so you can only go upwards and leftward, not rightward and leftward. And also, remember we need to align, we need to align this O to each other. We need to align those O to each other. That's true, right? So okay, we've aligned them; they are above each other. So we need to align those O to each other. First things first. If this hole is facing this direction, then by the time we pin it, the pin is going to be, you know, pivoting outwards, which doesn't make you look good as an engineer. It's meant to, you know, probably hide under here so it doesn't injure anybody. So I think the best thing to do is let's stay this direction, then rotate it. Rotate, yeah. Let's stay at the back. Back. It doesn't look straight yet. So rotate until we have, like, yeah, it looks perfect now okay so align those circles next um i want to click on right rotate yeah so i can see and at the same time rotate this way so i can see this so i come to my constraint i okay to be sure of what i'm doing let's look from the top okay zoom in as well so meaning not the up i want this yeah this zoom out click on front rotate to the right and let's zoom in to so this circle yeah you can see it's pointing at me it went through each other so i think that's enough it's pinned together so i click on okay come back to home this is the last guy standing what you do is you come to constrain then you just touch him by the side breadth and this O. So that is that, and you still come back again to make sure it's like in the center because you know it can still slip out. And ohm. No. So to do this, let's pull this backwards. So you can see it's not going upward or rightward, it's only rotating that stuff. So to be sure. Um, I want this to enter as deep as possible. Click on right, then let's push it as up through and through. Yeah, I think that's all for this diagram. Thank you very much, guys, and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Bye and peace out.